Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. If you are in the need, uh, if you're in need, or not the need, if you're in need of a uh, security system for your home or for your office, go with the local guys. You're going to get a better deal, better contract, and you've got all the top equipment. You've got the, the monitoring, everything, but the contract's going to be so much better if you go through Safety Systems. Give VFL JJ Serlis a call this week. This company's fantastic. They've been around for two decades now, more than two decades. Uh, I use them. I'm a big believer in them, and you'll see their sticker all over town. That should tell you how good they are. Good luck finding a business that doesn't say Safety Systems right on that door when you walk in there. SafetySystems.com. Be sure to spell it correctly. Safe, letter T, Systems.com. Okay. As I said last week, the word drifting out from UT this offseason sounded to me like Joe Milton is the guy with the leg up on the starting quarterback position. Everyone brags on the arm strength. Everybody gawks at his incredible size. His, he can run. Uh, Heupel went nuts over him and just uh, said on and on great things about him at media days when the other guys, there wasn't a lot of talk about him. He didn't, he didn't go into a Hendon Hooker speech. Uh, so the feeling, to me anyway, was things seems to be leaning toward Milton. Uh, Everybody's got different takes, I'm sure. Did you hear anything this week, though, that might have impacted your take on who's going to be the starting quarterback? Was there anything that came out of there, anything you saw in the limited amount you saw from the quarterbacks, anything that uh, had you saying, okay, well, maybe now I think it's going to be X? N not yet, but that's, that's not to be – or not a surprise given yep. it's the first week. They haven't had the first scrimmage yet, haven't even put on full pads yet. So when, once that starts happening, you'll see, you'll see and hear more of that stuff. Uh, the one thing I think we were reminded of was the, the third practice uh, on Friday, pretty shaky routes on air session. And it reminds you none of these guys is a world beater right now until yeah. proven otherwise. So I think this is clearly a, a, it's still an open race. I think, like you said, it's the staff, if, all, if they were being honest, maybe envisions or would like Joe Milton to win the job, but he's got to go win it. I think he's the most talented guy, but he still has to go do it. If he's the most consistent guy, he'll be the guy. If he's not, I think they'll go with someone else. So I don't think it's it's not a, a predetermined deal. I think it is a wide open race. Jimmy, you said last week you're leaning toward Harrison Bailey getting right. the job. Uh, your thoughts on what you heard this week, what you saw this week. And again, it was limited what anyone saw, uh, but most of the takes that I have seen were as Ryan said, nobody wowed you in terms of the, the full package. One mm -hmm. guy's got arm strength. This was a good throw. This was not a good throw. It wasn't the most consistent week for passing. Your thoughts on yeah. the quarterback? Anything change your mind this week? Well, I was leaning toward Bailey because I feel like he's the most accurate passer. Now, I'm not leaning as much toward Bailey because ah. of what I heard from Joey Halls, the quarterback coach, and what I've heard from receivers, and they talk about the zip. I've seen the, the fantastic arm that Milton had. I've seen the speed. He, this guy can run now. He may be 6'5 and 244, but he can run. But I'm not going to go there yet because I want to see how he handles and operates this offense. If he can handle this offense, I think it would be hard to beat this guy out. But I don't know. And obviously, Bailey and some of those had an advantage based on spring practice. But athletically, this guy has got some tremendous gifts. But I want to see what he's able to do in the decision-making, and getting everybody lined up, doing all those things that a quarterback has to do. But I'm, I'm still leaning toward Bailey, but not as much based on Milton. Right, because he had these, he had the same physical tools and gifts at Michigan, but it didn't yes. translate. So, right. does it translate? David, uh, anything? Yeah, I mean, I, I, think it, I think it comes down to system, right? Like uh, the Michigan, th the stuff at Milton, I, I think it, Michigan's offense looks a lot like what Tennessee's offense looked like last year. And I've said and believed if Pat Mahomes was on Tennessee last year, he <laughs> probably would have struggled to throw for 2,500 yards. There's not an offense that's going to be conducive to that. This offense, I think Tennessee fans can rest easy a little bit because I think whoever wins this job is going to be successful. I don't think you're going to have the carousel every week and, uh, you know, the pick sixes and all that stuff. You're not going to have that. But I will say this week I got an email from a sports betting site that uh, handicapped six quarterback competitions and Mr. Joe Milton was the uh, favorite for the Vols. So, okay. Vegas... Vegas knows. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. No. We'll, we'll have to ask the Chucky C note. C -note yeah, about Chuck that. knows. All right. <laughs> I, I will say this: Hendon Hooker was the thing that surprised me maybe most this week. The talk that I heard about the off season he's had this summer, I think coaches were actually really impressed with him. So if there's a dark horse, I think Hooker's maybe more of a factor in this than we thought maybe a, a couple months ago. He's Before consistent. Cameron, yeah, he's pretty consistent. Now. A lot of talk like about how good of a summer he had. So yeah. we'll see. Going to be interesting to watch it play out. All right, let's talk recruiting next and how UT keeps rising on the big board of the number one player in the country, according to ESPN. 
That's next, coming back on the Sports Source.